touch on a few common permanent makeup techniques that are popular right now. Now, of course, there are a lot of different ways to do permanent makeup because at the end of the day, this is an art. However, there are certain techniques that have gained a lot of popularity in the past few years. I would say the most popular technique right now is called whip shading. Whip shading is a technique where you hold your machine at 90 degrees to the skin and you swing that machine over the skin. As you swing over, the machine will deposit tiny drops of pigment. For this technique, we use small needle configurations like a one round liner or a three round liner. Another technique is called pointillism. This is where we manually go in and stipple pigment into the skin. Instead of swinging the machine to create the dots for us, we manually go in and put those dots into the skin. Both of these techniques are typically used in conjunction to do an ombre brow. You're gonna see a lot of artists whip shading to get those dusty, natural, light brows. Now, if you're looking for a technique that's going to saturate a little bit more, you're gonna opt for a larger needle configuration like a shader or a mag needle, and you're gonna switch up the technique a bit. You could do something called shoveling, This is moving the machine back and forth in the skin in a shoveling motion. This is really going to pack a lot of pigment into the skin and make your surface area solid. Another popular technique to create a more solid effect is small circles. So again, you go in at 45 degrees, create small circles away from you, to fully saturate the service area. Now, of course, these are oversimplified examples of these techniques. I just wanna show you that there are a lot of different ways to do brows. There's not one technique or one type of needle that's going to give you the perfect effect every single time. You wanna ask your client how much saturation do they want? Do they want something more sheer or do they want something more solid? And that's gonna determine the technique and the needle choice. There are many different ways to do whip shading and there are many different ways to create more solid effects. Effects. I do suggest finding a trainer in your area that teaches your desired results and always have adequate training before you're trying these techniques on a client.